my new tank divisions, their, their templates are good. Oh, we can do it now. So, steel Cossacks. Let's bring in support artillery. Save. How are we doing for heavy tanks? We have got enough for another two divisions of steel Cossacks. We'll go ahead and do that. And you guys are going to need names. This is going to be known as... The Stutter God. And this is going to be known as Mr. Muck. Nasty. What's German manpower look like? Let's take a look at their losses. 2.8 million. They're still on all adult serve. They're still on 1 to 2 million left. I'm up a million now. So my manpower is solid. And we've still only lost 800k. And we've killed 1.1 million. So it's still roughly a 1 to 1 ratio, honestly. I could really do with getting some of those medium tanks so I can start pushing back. We have a lot of trains. Are we still building two slots worth of trains? Have they changed the order of this? Because I keep on getting confused. And now that I know that I have a surplus of guns, it's actually a pretty big surplus. We're going to go back to 20 factories constructing that. Trucks are good and artillery is good. Let's go back to about this. Maybe this. I'm going to double down on the fighter production. And, whoa boy, we need a lot of aluminium. Which we can buy a little bit from Norway. And a little bit from the United S That's communist United States. No, 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 no. Too much. Still too much. And then rubber. We're going to need one more from the Dutch East Indies. Which somehow the British have not been intercepting. Aha! I can take over leadership. Uh, no. Not for 200. I am a major power, right? As long as I'm the major power, we're good. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. Later, maybe. Germany's pushing me pretty hard here. Start taking some back. Might actually get overruns because these are going to be very, very fast divisions. Or, or not. Infrastructure has been chewed up a bit. There we go, Gommel's been taken. Let's have you focusing on this. I now want you to take this. Carry on. Is Japan at war with the US? No. I don't think Japan's at war with anyone. I think they're at peace. Yep, completely at peace. Oh, our confederacy is now losing ground. They were gaining quite a lot up there in the north. Canada, though, is regaining its land. I really wish I could send you some stuff. I wonder how safe it would be.
<laughs> oh, I remember them writing this in the dev diary that this button exists and I love it. Whoops, not that much. <laughs> Once, click. Once, click. <laughs> oh man, this is an amazing button. It sends everything that you have in your stockpile of that type of equipment. Rather than having to manually remember precisely how many guns you had of each type, you can now just go click, 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 click. Beautiful. And you are going to need a lot of convoys for that. Well, you know what? I can help you with this. Uh, yeah, yes, I can. We'll send you 150. Is Canada a war with communist Americans? Yes, I believe so. Quote the guy from StarCraft 2. Hail, it's about time. Absolutely freaking lootly. Alright, Confederacy, let's see what you can do with the guns that I am sending you. There's a lot of them. Semenov has been wounded. Well, Wibble. Oh, that's even more consumer goods down. Interesting. We do seem to have a lot of ways of reducing consumer goods usage. But the capital of the Tsars is now done. We could get Honest Serfdom, which is another 1% recruitable pop. We can get Westward Bound, which is infrastructure and railways. Church candidates, which is popularity and unaligned. Political power and unaligned. Military factories. The new Mongol Empire. Oh, that must be Mongolia. Transformation of nature. Consumer goods minus five. Max factories in state plus ten. Requires a new beginning and National Academy of Sciences. Both. So I think I need to do these two. Oh wait, there was one other which I did want to do. Desperate measures. Allows the Great Patriotic War decisions. Lessons of war. Organization experience gain. Experience soldier losses reduction. An adaptable army as well. No, you know what? I need to do some of these. In this... Well, actually... How many consumer goods am I using? 20 still. That is about to go down as soon as I get total mobilization. It'll go from 20 to 10, so we'll be at 10. We could feasibly get it to zero. And that's going to allow me to build a lot of factories very, very quickly. New beginning requires 200 factories. We have 205. Here we go. Let's do it. It will still take some time before the disruptions of the war have been fully made good. But by setting the right goals, we can already gain some productivity gains. Available. Air power. Ace gen and air superiority plus 20. Hello. Sure. How's the air map mode looking? Not great. Yeah, we've lost another like 
three, four hundred planes, five hundred planes. But we are increasing production dramatically. And now that we have the tanks helping to defend here at least. Oh wow, entrenchment goes up to 32 now. Also, Seminov's injured. So let's bring in Konstantinov? I thought I had a spare cavalry guy. Oh, he's a field marshal, isn't he? Yeah, that's what it was. Krasnov. Hey, it's Jaunty Hat Guy. Awesome. Right, you've leveled up. You 153.6% want to have defensive doctrine. How do you not already have... Oh, oh. Yeah, come on, power. Right, yeah, that's the thing. Um, we need to get rid of some of the ground crews. We cannot afford to maintain that many. And with that... I need to ground all planes, too. No, we're not going to be that dramatic. 80. There we go. Um, so I needed you to get defensive edicts. This is definitely going to be worthwhile. You can get... Ambusher. Look at that defense. Yeah, you are 100% on Ambusher. You can get Ambusher as well. You're also an infantry guy. And you can get an officer. You can get an entrenchment specialist. But that would replace our army offense guy. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, though. Except for the political power I would need to spend to do it. Shukuro is what it would replace. I mean, we can give you the skill so you could theoretically do it in the future. It doesn't cost anything, right? No. Yes, five, but... Pff. So if I did theoretically wish to replace you with the Entrenchment Specialist, it would cost me 50 political power and 30 command power. I'm going to say... Do it. Oh, we gained a bunch of followers. Null, Lefty Heretic, Snail Consumer, Who's Ya, Zeplos. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Second general from the right reminds me of Colonel Clink from Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> it does a bit. <sighs> Get the air superiority expert. That would help. No political power. Uh-uh. Nope, 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 nope. Do I think I can pocket them there in the center? No, because I have nothing that has any decent breakthrough. Like, there are two things I very desperately want. One, more industrial capacity to build more fighters. That's the most pressing concern. Secondly, to get more... Or to get medium tanks. The Duchy of Corsica has capitulated. That's the second time. Can't unsee that now. Good. Good. Um, how are the boats doing? A bit hard to tell. Oh. Whatever base these guys were using, we must have lost it. Canada. Uh, docking rights, please. 
and you. That's probably going to help. Marginally. Who would I have been getting rights from? I was able to reach this earlier. Well, some of the ships can reach that. It's just the really old ones that can't. Yeah, alright, fair enough. Speaking of which, are you getting... You're... No experience, really? Why? You're not actually moving. Alright, let's try this again. I want you convoy raiding in those locations. Go. Have you guys seriously just been sitting around twiddling your thumbs. You've at least got a little bit of experience out here. Although you're struggling to reach. Hey, Australia. <sighs> I would like docking rights from you as well, because I forgot that you guys are in different factions. Alright, now we can actually reach all of this. So you guys should be about to do a lot more damage. Okay, good. Huh, a bit annoying that it took that long, but that's fine. The fact I was thinking anything kind of threw me there. And you guys are just dealing with anyone that should sail into that, which is so far nobody. Germany hasn't tried any naval invasions. Is there any value in adding AA? Yes, probably, but I've already invested so much in trying to get an air force going. I don't really want to spend more. Uh, we have 300 heavy tanks. We could probably start ratcheting back how many we're producing soon. Unless we just add more heavy tanks. To these division templates. I mean, they are so cheap that we probably could. And probably should. Le Father Bold. Mercenus Arius NL Chromos Eleven Und Tier Pits Should really be an admiral, but that's fine. Uh Gabe. Oh, four nine four. Okay. Motris. Don Fandango. And finally. Mahara. Jolly good. Marvelous. Alright, so that's all of the Cossack units now deployed. So if I did want to upgrade the Cossacks would effectively be removing a cavalry and bringing another one of those, which reduces your organization to 37, which for a frontline unit is garbage. So we're not doing that. Instead, we're going to reduce the number of tanks we're producing pretty dramatically, I would say, in order to get more fighters. And we're going to just double down on that.
need one more set of aluminium. Fine. Hungary pluck. Claims Greater Hungary, having regained the lands that were taken from them in the Treaty of Trianon, Miklos Horthy issued a proclamation yesterday evening that the nation shall henceforth be known as Greater Hungary. Yes. And I would like 1942 to get the upgrades in 1942. 267. We needed. It was three, wasn't it? No. Was it 250? It was totally 250. Total mobilization. Women in the workforce. Alright, now our economy can start purring along. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of factory places in these locations. Basically anything that has more than like seven at this point I'm going to upgrade. And let's get this construction on the road. Oh yeah, St. Petersburg. Oh, St. Petersburg's actually already full. No longer get the effects of rebuild Savior Cathedral. That's unfortunate because that was a construction buff. <laughs> Terribly timed, but never mind. And there's the medium tank chassis. So, let's take a look at what we can do with that. Well, we can upgrade the engine and the armor. Uh, that's that one, production tank. Medium chassis. Right, so we probably want medium armaments. What has a lot of breakthrough? Medium cannon. But the soft attack of the medium howitzer is better. Nope, I think we're going to go with the howitzer. We're going to go with the medium three-man turret. We're going to go with the Christie suspension. Welded armor. Definitely welded armor. Gasoline engine. Yes, because we want the speed. Alright, special modules. Well, the first one we're going to want is a radio. Next up, we're going to want... Sloped armor. Because these tanks are still pretty cheap. HMG is more breakthrough and soft attack, though not a huge amount. Small cannon would be more of that. It's really expensive. Stabilizer, that's more breakthrough. Also quite cheap. And then extra ammo. Smoke launchers would be the cheapest way of doing it. Although the question now is... Well, we'll definitely save this, because we're going to upgrade whatever this is. So, we need a name for this one, and as far as I know, nobody else has reserved a name. With the reserve name thingy-majiggy feature. Wet storage will give you more reliability you can use to increase armor and engine bonuses. True. 
Reliability seems too high for a new tank. Well, we haven't played with the engine, the armor. I need to see how fast the motorized units go. So this is going to be the Vasco class. The Wrangel. Now I'm going to name this after a patron. So we're going to go with the Vasco. And then... And then... I'm going to go and take a look at the motorized divisions. How fast do you go? You go 12 kilometers per hour. Do I really want to try and build... A medium tank that goes 12 kilometers per hour. Huzzah! The alternative would be motorized mechanized. Ooh, speaking of which, one thing you can now do, if I remember correctly, is you can edit. Yes, you can. Motorized and mechanized units. Sorry, not the motorized, but the mechanized you can. So if you wanted really fast mechanized, let's aim for about 10 km. 10 sounds reasonable. And then we'll also start making some mechanized upgrades. Alright, so the Vasco... ...10 km pH. I don't know that I'm gonna bother with the armor upgrade. So I'm not even sure that I need the wet ammunition storage. Smoke launchers actually just doubles your defense. For only 0.5, it's so cheap. Armor skirts do even more though, that's three breakthrough. You know what, let's do that. Nine point eight. You know what? Nine point eight is fine. Ninety nine percent reliability. Oh, armor provides breakthrough. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, these tanks are getting kind of pricey now, so 9 kilometers per hour, 45 breakthrough. Does reliability largely affect upkeep? Yes, it's basically how often you need to replace lost vehicles. 85 reliability I think is going to be okay. So that's going to be the Vasco, we're going to start building some of those. You know one thing I forgot to do? I forgot to give it a better look. Only thing is, these cost tungsten, which I don't have a huge amount of. 